In this video, I'll show you how to make it snow using particles in Blender 5. So let's hide the scene for a minute and start out by making the geometry of the snowflakes. I found that adding a simple sphere with a little bit of noise works just fine. So Shift A, Add Mesh, UV Sphere, go to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Deform, Displace. Let's create a new texture, go over to the Texture Properties and change this to Clouds. And we can increase the size a little bit and go into modifiers again and bump down the strength a little bit like that. We only want to break the perfect sphere like so. Right click, shade smooth, and then let's give it a material. Snowflake, we want it to be white. Bump down the roughness, looks something like this, which is fine. Now let's add a plane for the particles to emit from. So shift A. Mesh plane, grab it, G, drag it over our house, and then make sure that you scale it wide enough to cover the whole scene. Now go to particles, add a particle system, and if we hit play now, it emits particles. But we don't want the particles to render as halos, so go down to render, render as object, and then we're going to choose the snowflake we made. And if we look through the camera view, we can see that the snowflakes are quite big. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit, 0 0.01 maybe. And then to make it more realistic, we're going to add in some scale randomness. And this will just make the size of each snowflake a little bit random. So I'm just going to bump this up to 1. Also make sure to disable show emitter as we don't want the plane to show up in the render. Now if we play this, we can see that the snow is very quick. So to slow this down, we can go into physics, integration, and then turn down the time step. So 0 0.01 maybe. The problem now is that it's so slow that the snowflakes are clipping before reaching the scene. So up here in emission, lifetime, let's turn this up to let's say 500 to see if it reaches the ground. Perfect. And now to make it a little bit more interesting, you can add some random velocity to break up the movement. So in the velocity tab, I'm going to turn off the normal velocity because we only want velocity going downwards. So negative C axis, negative one. And if I play now, we can see that the particles only emits downwards. And now the important part, let's increase the randomize a little bit. So 0.5. And that's going to make the snow feel lighter and appear as if it's being influenced by the wind. Now, before rendering, in the emission tab, increase the number if you want more particles or decrease it if you want less. So we want a little bit more. So let's say 10,000. And we don't want to waste time waiting for the snow to enter the scene. As you can see, the snow doesn't enter the screen before 60 frames. So go to the cache tab and hit bake. Now we can start the animation at a frame where the scene is already filled with snowflakes and render from there. So let's say 100. Now in the render settings, make sure motion blur is enabled. The default value is usually fine. But if you have a very long motion blur like this, you might want to lower the value. If you feel you don't have enough motion blur, then you can increase it. I'm going to lower it down a little bit. And then set your desired render settings. Go to render, render animation. Now grab a cup of coffee and come back when the render is done. 